Welcome to the Traders Show. This show is brought to you by Pepperstone. Pepperstone is an award-winning online global forex and CFD broker. It offers unparalleled service, exceptional pricing, and fast execution speed. Pepperstone gives you access into the global markets with more trading opportunities, fast class customer service, and peace of mind. Withdrawals are quick, and for those in Kenya, M-Pesa is enabled. Pepperstone Markets is regulated by the Capital Markets Authority. To open an account with Pepperstone, you can click the links on the descriptions below. Yeah, because if, if I start off, I think, so yeah, an edge to me is, 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 is a personal unique approach to the markets that gives you, that helps you become a winner at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's your own. I think people have different, edges are different. Yeah, exactly. you, the edge is not mine and like, it's not easy for me to duplicate yours and make it mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And one thing people should understand about technical analysis, what you keep saying, technical analysis comes in two ways. It, it, it's, it's an art and it's a science or trading in itself. Yeah, yeah. So uh, for me especially, um, I approach, um, when we do principles, the, 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 the psychometric tests, or me as a person, I don't even need to do psychometrics or anything. I'm, I'm personally a creative. That's why I'd gone to study film and TV. Mm-hmm. It's what I enjoy. It's, it's what I do. And my mind sticks to it, clicks to it. So in terms of my approach in the market, I think I just naturally gravitated sort of to the outside. And basically what I mean, or, or to my own understanding, what I mean by that is I believe like my way of trading is more artistic and Taras's way of trading is more scientific. And by that I mean... My work is to be able to understand the patterns, the market structure, and how the market forms structures. Yep. So when I'm teaching in my class, if I take a blank screen, let's say I normally push the candlesticks to the fire end, and I normally tell them, this is, a, this is a canvas, and the market is going to paint on it. And it's my work to understand what patterns are repetitive that this market is going to draw, and I trade with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sort of, it's like what you're saying. Sort of technical analysis gives you an edge to a certain point. Because if you don't know <coughs> technical analysis, or you don't know how to look at patterns, or you don't know how to read the charts, or to read what I'm saying, the painting the market is going to give, which mm-hmm. is a very good analogy. I really like it. The market is painting, and it's my work to observe this artist and what the artist is doing in the market. And and now what what you're saying, the thirty percent. So understanding this is a very important factor. Yes. Number one step, Taras' way, what now I believe in the scientific way, what I think w- what Taras does, he uses a fixed set of indicators that sort of help you understand what the technicals are saying. And what I mean by that, you, yours are fixed. There's no one day you'll wake up. I won't get into details. If you come for a class, Taras will teach you <laughs> what he does. But Taras, you wake up, you're not looking for what pattern has the market formed, do mm-hmm. you know, all that. You're looking at, okay, what is the indicator telling me? Mm-hmm. It's fixed. It's it How does market react to certain fixed levels? Exactly. Yeah. It's like it's like gravity. How how fast can I fall down if we're different weights? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's what you're doing as well. It, it's fixed. You're not going to wake up today and say, hey, I don't trust in this indicator. No. You, yours is fixed. Yep. Every single day, every single week, as long as the indicators are for me yeah. now for me and i tell most of my students it's 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 not an easy way if, if you're not going to do what we're talking about chat time putting in the time and understand what are the repetitive patterns that are going to help me get an edge mm-hmm. in the market going to help you to a certain point because i remember some time back especially when we're following astro fx and all i remember she only once posted you normally come take time on the charts understand how to analyze the market as an analyst and then all of a sudden you discover oh shit i need to understand risk management trade management psychology mm-hmm. you know all those things then and it's not you're going to wake up one day and just say oh, man, i'm just going to risk one percent zero point one yep, yep, yep. It's, it's it's a whole process that you're going to go through which now combined will help you get you that edge exactly. which you're talking about and and I remember reading a few people on market wizards and they normally say for example this guy really bombarded me i think it's because we approach the markets more or less in the same way P- peter l brandt so peter mm. l brandt is a brandt. chartist he calls himself a chartist basically technical analysis and he me approaches the market by pure analysis and to him he's been trading for the past 40 years i think okay. even now he's clocked 50 because at that time that book came some few years back i think he's clocked 50 and he's saying he traded for 50 years and the charts just give him an edge of 30% or rather a hit rate, not an edge of 30%, mm-hmm. 30 to 40. 
So meaning sure. out of 10 trades there's yeah, a high probability you're going to lose yeah, seven you, times like your pattern still lose. Exactly. More. So mm-hmm. understanding that then now looking okay I can't just start ch- system hopping changing my strategy mm-hmm. how am I going to help this strategy become a winning strategy. winning strategy at the end of the day so that's the time now you're working on you looking for your edge mm-hmm. and it's 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 not an easy journey but it's it's a worth it and part mm-hmm. of it you're going to need a lot of what we're talking about today screen time you you're watching the markets and screen time is not just screen time you're trading this what you're seeing mm-hmm. You're taking live trades you're executing trades because mm-hmm. i remember um, if, if you look at us something that really uh, made us take a step back and we didn't really advance really fast which is something for those people who are starting off i don't want you to make the same mistake there's a time we were out of the market to re- out we are not using real money for quite some time okay we had blown accounts <laughs> and no one was we aren't working no one is going to give us some money and it took us time to come back and get so during that time we traded a lot on the demo yep. and demo trading man i won't like it it's easy you'll spend your time on that and think you have it you, you, you have what it takes but when it comes now to the real trading <coughs> now you get to know that eh, that those other psychological is now you start thinking about things like back testing exactly mm-hmm. now you want to understand okay kumbe i've just learned like 20% what are the other 80% i'm going to do so 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 yeah so to me i think i will also come back to that same conclusion sort of like taras tra- technical analysis in itself only will not really give you an edge there's, mm-hmm. there's a lot of other things uh, and when you mentioned mm-hmm. the analyst part i got even a better point technical mm-hmm. analysis will help you become a good analyst for sure but now you, be, you now need to become a good trader after becoming a good analyst and the people who do that mm-hmm. full time see yeah. they're trading yeah, analysts exactly. guys who just analysts when fikapo unachi hapo unapeleka trader okay yeah. this is what i think the market is going to do especially exactly. in hedge funds mm. that's what they do kuna mse taking risk taking funds is psychology that, no. cannot mm-hmm. handle but you can you know how to analyze companies basically you know how to read the the books well mm-hmm. and you say hey boss you know and these are the people you normally find Tesla, most of the Tesla. time yes you have come from yes, universities exactly. that study mm-hmm. economics mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they know exactly. those nitty gritty but mm-hmm. trading yo utenda shule ukalishwe because that those things because mm-hmm. like i like the way uh peter the gave for 12 rules Jordan Peterson. Jordan. Yeah. Peterson. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Peterson. I like the way he says the Greeks have a maxim know thyself. And understanding that utakuja gundua when you start trading live you'll come to understand that technical in itself is not everything. You yep. have to know yep. thyself. Mm. Taras says form of taking a risk and mind totally different and I won't copy Taras. I won't I won't copy Ken and start saying Ken has this edge or this risk management strategy and he's making money. Uh, nah, nah, nah. So yeah, I think those are my points Ken. 